You know, I, I've... Uh, I've looked at people who have been in politics uh, over my career and even before that when I was a lawyer. And politics is a very serious business and it's a difficult art and science. And therefore I respect those in, in the political spectrum of the nation uh, for the kind of work which they do. In so many which ways I feel that, uh, you know, the work which I did as a judge or as a lawyer was in many ways so much easier because, you know, I was with myself, with my files, Mm. my books, uh, my judgments, dealing with society. It's easier from a certain perspective and it's far more difficult from a certain pers perspective. They're two different mm. institutions in a democracy which we have to respect. Mm. But speaking for myself, you know, uh, it's a completely different universe. Mm. Uh, you know, for instance, uh, when I would speak to the, uh, the law minister, when we'd be discussing judicial appointments, I would always tell him that, you know, with kind of schedules which you have of being all over the country, you know, mm. doing, I wouldn't be able to ever do that. I mean, mm. I, I, I love my time when I'm in my study, working on my briefs, working on my um, cases for the next day, working on judgments. That brings me real fulfillment as a human being. So, mm. there are two different lifestyles so completely. So, if it's not for you, uh, you're saying, but at present, maybe at some point of time it will be, uh, but... Are you averse to the idea of judges joining politics? No. You know, I, I've answered this question uh, historically. Uh, one of uh, the greatest judges in India, Justice K. Subarao, hmm. uh, his judgments are cited even today before us. And he spoke with such perspicacity hmm. at the time when he wrote. Uh, he resigned from the Supreme Court to con to contest the presidential election. Mm. So, uh, you know, Justice Subarao took a, took a call to mm. then contest, uh, to contest the uh, election. It was a different time. It was, he lived in his times and he took mm. a decision which was perhaps valid from his point of view at that time. Mm. You've had other judges of uh, the, former judges of the Supreme Court who then uh, contested uh, elections. Uh, you've had judges from the high courts who've done that. Mm. Uh, uh, my own belief, however, is this, that when you lay down office as a judge, mm. people do continue to assess you uh, from the standpoint of being regarded as a judge. And it's important that all judges who have occupied that post to understand that. Mm. Because in what you do after you cease to be a judge, you should not affect the credibility of the work which you did as a judge or the credibility of the institution which you occupied. I mean, what am I but for the fact that the judiciary has made me what I am today, a former Chief mm. Justice of India. I mean, take that away from me and I'd say, what am I left with? Mm. So, you know, as a, a judge after retirement, as a former judge, I shouldn't be doing something which would bring... Uh, any form of a credibility crisis to my own institution, which I have uh, occupied. Would that happen? But I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't at all criticize <laughs> colleagues, former colleagues who have uh, taken an alternate path. It's for them to take a call. And I'm no one to criticize them. But some of them. By doing that, do you think that they've brought some kind of a disrepute or some kind of questioning at least about the impartiality of the justices, judicial system well, in India? Well, to be very honest, I don't think, uh, you know, it, it, I don't think it would be fair to say that uh, their decisions post-retirement brought into question uh, the decisions which they took while they were holding office. Okay. For the reason that a decision of the Supreme Court particularly is not a decision of one judge. Mm. It's a decision of a collective body of judges. It may be a decision of a bench of two judges, a judgment of three judges, of five or seven. To say that, well, because one of the judges on the bench after retirement joined politics brings the judgment into disrepute is casting aspersion on every other member of that bench as well. Hmm. So it doesn't work that way. Okay. It doesn't work that way at all. Hmm. Uh, because after all, every decision that we take is being taken by a group of judges. And hmm. the more important constitutional cases by at least five judges in sometimes seven or sometimes nine. So to say that, well, that judge's decision post-retirement had some bearing on the decision which that judge took would be unfair a criticism because okay. that would be a criticism of all the other judges who are part of that bench. 
So there's one so question that, which... So that is something which okay. we must not uh, ignore as well. Uh-huh.